First, as you're working on your South Park character, make sure you're working within the template. Then you're going to be using your shape tools. If you click and hold on the tools, you'll see the tear off at the end on the right, and you can tear off a whole set of tools to bring it closer to your workspace. The key is to make your character look like a South Park character. So start with a head, and you can use the eyedropper tool to pick up skin tones of other characters within the format here, until you find one that you like. The selection tool at any time will allow you to shrink or change the size of your document. South Park eyes are oval, so you can draw, draw them as such. To pick up the white color, you can go and pick it up from here, or you can also grab your swatches palette and use those colors to choose from as you go along. To duplicate an object, go on top of the object, hold Alt or Option on the keyboard, and click and drag to get a second. Drawing a box around two things at once, or more, will allow you to select those two things. Now the South Park eyes are slightly curved, so I'm going to go out and kind of, oops, I'm going to go out and kind of curve them in just a little bit. Same thing with this one. You can use the arrows on the keyboard to nudge shapes around. For small details, the blob brush is a great brush to use. To change the size of the blob brush, you can use the brackets next to the letter P on the keyboard. This is great for little details, like eyelashes, eyebrows, mouths, or expression pieces. For the hair, you can start a few different ways. You could start with a shape. Let's make the shape brown for my hair. And you can use tools to break the shape apart. Now, if I take my eraser tool, I can erase from the bottom part all of this. I can erase all of this. And when I let go, it'll give me a new shape that I can use. Right now, I've got a different kind of bottom down there. I could also take my knife tool and I can use that, oh, grab the knife tool, and I can use that to chop up the bottom part as well. Clicking anywhere in the background deselects, and then you can go back and pick up individual parts and delete them or move them. Now the hair is in front of the face, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the object menu, arrange, and send to back. I need to send that hair behind the head. There we go. Another tool that you can use is the pen tool. Pen tool is like connecting the dots. I want to create a little bang action here. You know that you've completed a shape when that little circle icon pops up. That means I've completed an entire shape. I can change the color of it. And I can use this tool. This is called the curvature tool to pick on certain pieces and kind of round them out a little bit. So the object of this project is for you to kind of just experiment with using some of these different tools and trying to figure out what the best way is to use each one, why, how, all that kind of good stuff. For South Park bodies, you can literally trace the little body that you've got there. Let me zoom in. I'm going to trace one of the bodies of one of these little people down here. I'm going to go click, 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 and click. Now that looks pretty raw. That looks pretty raw. Not, I mean, raw is not great just yet. But if I move it back over, let me zoom out. Is that a little shirt? I'll stress that little shirt out. Kind of fit it right underneath there. Now this needs to go to the back. Object, arrange, send to back. But behind the hair, object, arrange, send to back. Now the hair goes behind. And I could pick a different color for this guy. And I could even go in and take that curvature tool and give me a little roundedness to the arms. Or roundness down here. For the hands, those are circles with circles. And if I want to change the color of both of these objects, I can kind of grab them both and then pick up the eyedropper color there. Well, this little guy, I want to put a stroke on there. A little bit darker so you could see it. I could duplicate this whole thing, shift click to get both of them, 
Alt click to get a double. It's my little hands. Okay, I'm gonna use a rectangle for the legs. Put some oh, naked, put some jeans on, get dressed. Oh, this happens when you don't bring the fill back to the front. I could swap the two colors, then get rid of my stroke, and then I want to bring that guy in the front. Object arrange sent to back. There we go. Oops. And now I just need some little shoes. So I'm gonna take an ellipse, I'm going to color it brown, I'm going to take my knife tool and I'm going to cut it in half. Click anywhere in the background to drop it. I've got one, oh those are big feet. I do have big feet but that's a little too big. There's one shoe there and the other shoe. Shrink it down. There. Now at that point you need to think, what can make this signature you? Do I need to put in glasses? Am I going to put something in my hand? Do I need a logo on my t-shirt? But from there, I think you should be able to get through tomorrow, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you.